www.radiosports.ch Powered by UPC All right, this is the second part of our interview series. We already had the general manager and the social media guard of our Overwatch Swiss national team um, in our interview. Now we've got the coach because we finally have an Overwatch Swiss national team. And the coach is none other than Luft. Luft, a very warm welcome to you. Thanks for uh, talking to me right now. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> so now uh, your, your, your work can finally start. You finally got an Overwatch team. How were the last weeks for you? Mm, it was fine. We just started playing uh, recently mm -hmm. because some of us couldn't play. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, in, you've got a whole new lineup right now. It's not the same as last year. Um, I can show yep. the people in the video. Right, we have two, four, six, seven players in the lineup. How was the process of finding them? Uh, we had an open forum mm -hmm. on our Twitter and Discord. Mm -hmm. Then I decided with Sharper and and Sharper, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 18 players. Mm -hmm. I choose them uh, by checking S, uh, Caesar rank, basically. Mm -hmm. Teriro played. And if they have some experience in the team, that was... And so right now we can see, uh, we've already put out some pictures of the players, of course. Some of them have jerseys of teams we already know. Uh, you may have seen them in some competition like uh, Tankyo and Sir Gibson from Silent Gaming lineup or Niv for playing for My Insanity. Mm, do you think there are some people now in the lineup that the people may not know yet? That there are some new faces? Mm, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. At least for the Swiss scene. <laughs> They're all known. They're all known, definitely. So, yeah. is, but we heard from Sharp before before the uh, decision was made that there were some new faces coming out for the tryouts, and they didn't make the cut now. So, uh, how were your feelings about them? I think the experience got this part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, and now you feel comfortable with that team. You feel good. You feel the chances are. All right, for going to Anaheim now. I think it's so good. I can't really tell her now. It's really early, I think. <laughs> we just started and yeah. Yeah, you, you said you just started and how yeah. many times per week or per month are your plans to train with them or how many times? Right now we're trying to play at least three times mm -hmm. per week. Um, at the moment we're not doing any team board review. I'm focusing on single player water views. Mm -hmm. It's maybe three per week, let's say, mm -hmm. one on one water views. And you've got the you got the luxury right now that there's no SSL going on or any other big league, so these players are available right now. But, uh, uh, most of them. Most I'd of say. them. <laughs> yeah. But it will change soon. Do you think that will have an impact on your training schedule when they have to play with the teams again? I don't think so. I think everyone is giving their disponibility. Mm -hmm. Ability, sorry. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So uh, they got their time. And what are you looking forward to the most now in the next few weeks? Uh, playing as much as we can. <laughs> <laughs> because then the meta is new there's new 2 to 2 lock right now mm -hmm. I want to give them time to practice new heroes practice new comps and get synergized with each other mm -hmm. so that's basically why I'm not really doing any team board review right now mm -hmm. I want to give them time to practice as much as we can and you played for a challenger uh, team until recently you're not playing there anymore, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm yeah. taking a big pose, I think, a long yeah. one. So you can focus on this team and uh, not be, uh, how you say, and not feel distracted from other um, stuff you have to focus on. So this is your, yeah. Yes, that's one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. But mostly it's because I played competitively for three years. And full time for two years, and I'm kind of tired right now. 
that's the main reason why I stopped playing. Mm. So coaching gives you a break and a different perspective, yeah. you think? Exactly. So what? It's really cool. What do you think is something you can bring to the players now that we don't find in the Swiss esports scene? If you just play in the Swiss esports scene, I never played in the Swiss esports scene, so I think it's international experience, maybe, mm -hmm. or how we work in a uh, competitive team, and with that I mean full time, you know, mm -hmm. because none none of the players in Switzerland are full time. No, That's me and Elf, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> and uh, we have, you know, Silent Gaming is the biggest team in Overwatch right oh. now. They, I don't know when they've lost a big game, when when the, uh, the last time was when they lost a big game. And you feel the players you've got on your roster now that are coming from Silent Gaming, are they a step ahead of the other players or is it just a team synergy they have going on and the individual player can, you know, can uh, be really good with other players as well? Honestly, the two silence players we have are the only ones that apply to the form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it wasn't even an option to take the whole silent game yes, roster to exactly. Anaheim. <laughs> <laughs> But do you think they are a step ahead of the other players in your roster right now? I don't think so. Hmm. I think the level is pretty even mm -hmm. between everyone. And Some just... of them have more experience, but it's not that huge uh -huh. of a gap. And if you say the level is pretty even on the Swiss uh, scene part, where do you think they stand internationally? With a kind of pro teams or... Eh. <laughs> <laughs> That's As I say, answer. I don't know right now. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna play against some international teams soon. We can see you in action there. Um, yep. and we're really looking forward to. You think you can uh, leave groups from that tournament? Yeah. You think you can make it through groups? We have a chance. We have a chance. Yeah. That's, it's that's going cool. to be really hard, I think. But we can. We can win some games, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, Overwatch World Cup is a big event, definitely. Uh, for, it's got to be a chance to play on the big stage for uh, a lot of newcomers or Switzerland uh, eSport guys. Mm -hmm. What are you personally looking forward to the most in this whole experience? Uh, to showcase the players, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because World Cup is mostly a, uh, it's not like a big tournament with big prizes. It's mostly to scout players for contenders, for academies and Overwatch League maybe. Mm -hmm. That's that's the reason I'm focusing on one on ones as well, most more than team stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe next year we will have to say goodbye to some of our best players if they get scouted at the I World Cup. So. I really hope so. That would be great. That would be yeah. amazing. That's that's I, I think that's the part that a lot of people forget when we talk about the World Cup. That's exactly. not only to gain fame and honor as a team or as Switzerland, but to give the people a chance to maybe make it into the pro scene. Yeah, that's what I think as well. Yeah. And you think you will get the funds to get to Anaheim? <laughs> Can't tell. <laughs> Sharper will uh, will beat me there. <laughs> Sharp with the big I, we don't know yet no of course but we hope so and uh yeah we play uh we stay positive and we stay hopeful and we're really looking forward to to you to seeing you guys on the international stage and we're also looking forward to what you can do with this team what you can bring out of the boys um of this raw talent let's say and yeah thank you very much and then we'll see you at the first tournament or the first games of our swiss national overwatch team thank you thank you wish you best of luck and uh, we stay in touch yes we'll sure see, we'll see what's coming thank you bye bye esports.ch powered by ubc